Hey everybody, Ryan Jackson here. Welcome back to the 100 days of 2026 NEC changes. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. We're still in Article 300, and we're going to talk now about Section 300.17, which used to be 300.15. 300.17 has two main requirements. Number one, fittings have to be listed for the wiring methods on which they're used. And then number two, you have to have boxes anytime you have splices, pull points, terminations, things like that, except, and I think there's about 11 exceptions. <laughs> and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Article 300, General Requirements for Wiring Methods and Materials. 300.17, Boxes, Conduit Bodies, or Fittings Required. The rules for a fitting used in lieu of a box were clarified. I'm just going to go ahead and say fixed. Okay, 300.7 starts with this rule. And this is a good rule. I just think it needs to be in a different spot, right? So fittings and connectors are only allowed for the wiring methods they are listed for. Right, so when people look at this picture, they get bothered because they say, wait a minute, you're telling me I can't take a flex connector, a rigid coupling, and an EMT connector and thread it all together and go from EMT to flex? Yes, that, that is correct. You're not allowed to do that. There, there are fittings that are designed specifically to go from EMT to flex, right? And they're tested that way and they're listed that way. Now, I know that bothers a lot of people. I mean, like, I'm not going to sit here and lie. When I was installing, I did this a million times. You know, I, I, didn't, know there were, I didn't know there were transition fittings. So transition fittings, or sometimes they're called to from or from to, right? From EMT to flex. Um, this rule is a good rule. Like I, I think most of us are going to agree that you shouldn't be able to take like a Romex connector around your EMT and connect it to a box, right? So this rule, everybody agrees with it until they look at this application. They're like, well, I don't like that rule. Hey, I, I get it. You know, I understand. But you got to use fittings that are designed for the wiring method. The rest of this section is all about this topic. At all raceway or cable terminations, wiring method transitions, splices, junctions, outlets, pull points, or switch points, a box must be installed unless allowed by A through L. Okay, so where is the rule that says you can't just put like a power distribution block on a stud and just, <laughs> just make a bunch of splices to it? This is the rule, right? This is the rule that says you have to have a box for your splices and terminations, except as allowed in A through L. Now, we're not going to talk about every one A through L. The one we're going to talk about is F for fittings. In lieu of a box or conduit body, an identified fitting can be used if the conductors are not spliced. If a fitting is used as a pull point, it must remain accessible after installation. Okay, so this uh, they, they first kind of screwed this up in the 2020 and then screwed it up even worse in the 2023 and now it's fixed for the 2026. So ultimately what this said in the 2023, I mean, if, if we read it without the underlying text, it said in lieu of a box or conduit body, a fitting can be used if the conductors are not spliced, but it has to remain accessible after installation. Okay, well, wait a minute. This rule, if we go back, this rule applies to what? All terminations, all switch points, all uh, raceway wiring method transition points, right? So ultimately, this fitting up here, this to from fitting, had to be accessible, right? In the 2023. And in this photograph, it is accessible. But think about going from PVC to rigid, right? You're underground with PVC and then you want to turn it into rigid for the pole. Uh, that little fitting down in the dirt was probably illegal. And that was clearly never the intent, right? So now it's very clear. We want the fitting to remain accessible if you're using it instead of a box for pulling. So this fitting needs to remain accessible, which makes perfect sense because this fitting, you need to take the back off to pull the wires, right? I mean, one of the things about white about raceways is you're supposed to be able to, you know, insert and remove the conductors. Well, you can't pull them in and out if you leave that back plate on the Flex 90. So it needs to remain in place after installation, but this rule only applies to fittings that are being used as a pull point, not fittings that are used for wiring method transitions or anything else. 
All right, so a nice clarification there. I think the changes over the last couple of code cycles that kind of screwed this up were, were subtle enough that I don't think a lot of people actually caught the screw up. And those that did, it was pretty clear that that was not the intent, that you couldn't literally bury you know, a, a PVC female adapter to change over. So makes sense, good change. Um, Still in Article 300 for two more videos, though. We got 300.20 coming up next, which talks about welding. I think they did a really good job there. And then a really surprising change in 300.24. It's a good change, but it's one of those things that, boy, the code was broken for 100 years and nobody ever caught it. I always like those changes. So I hope you'll keep joining me on the series, and I hope you'll be safe out there. Take care, everybody.